Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, editor in chief of MyGamer.com, and today I am playing Steel Defier. First time I'm playing this. Check me out at MyGamer.com, SquallSnake.com, and on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Holy crap, what just happened? Just got an achievement, 90 points, glimpse of glimpse glim of hope, escape from your prison cell. So you get 90 points just by booting up the game, which has happened well. I'm not going to complain. A bit of fresh air is always welcome. Another Rotolaka game, been covering a lot of their games recently. I love their games. Them and East Age of Soft. I like playing their games, I like streaming their games, I like covering their games. Basic construction, that big button in the center will open the door for me. But it might also be a trigger for some security traps that I'll need to avoid at all costs. I could probably do that just by using the analog stick to walk and the A button to jump. See, I know this is some type of... An avoiding type of game where you're kind of in this diorama perspective and I think you just got to survive long enough oh I hit the wall I didn't know you can touch the wall okay I thought you just had a all right let's try that again so you cannot touch the wall at all I thought maybe it would just crush you Couple more. There we go. Oh, you get a little map in the upper left corner there. So yeah, the other buttons at this point don't do anything. There's also another game right now on Game Pass. I think it's still on Game... Well, maybe it left Game Pass. I'm not sure. But there was a game on Game Pass called Disc Room. And I think it's on other things too, Switch and probably Steam. Robotic boots hold B to run. All right, so I got a little upgrade. So should I go up or should I go to the right? Let's go right. So you can hold B and run a little bit faster now. But yeah, Disc Room kind of reminds me of Disc Room where it's kind of like the Smash TV kind of map. And you just have to survive. You don't have any offensive capabilities. Oh, that was pretty close. So now we're getting the purple box. I think the key here is to grab the cards as quickly as they spawn to reduce the amount of time Got it. This place is a lot bigger than what I remember. I suppose I don't go out as much as I need to. Just got another achievement. 50 points lost in space. Visit at least five different rooms. I like the simple cutscenes. I don't know why there's that one room all the way on the right over there. I don't know how to get there. Maybe there's a secret path. Control is really responsive, which is important because you kind of need responsive control for a game like this. There we go. I don't know what that thing was. Just a spike that appears, doesn't seem to be moving. And now we got this thing that goes on the perimeter. Thing spawned right on the box. Yeah, the security cam kind of perspective I think is pretty interesting because it's not like they could have went top down. Oh, see, it spawned right on the thing. Like they could have easily went top down, but then that would have made jumping weird. You wouldn't be able to tell where you're you're jumping. There'd be no perspective. I guess my only complaint at this point is the camera like slightly 
swoop. Uh, swoops left and right. And that's a little disorienting. I kind of wish it was almost static at this angle instead of swooping like that. Uh, I think you need to be fast, but you can't be greedy. You can't like just rush it. You gotta really call your pick your shots. It seems like you have an infinite number of lives. You died a few times, but just respawns you back at the beginning. Oh. Let's see how far I can get. Oh, oh, hey, hey. It seems to be 15 cards for each level. Oh. Security system starting to get a lot more brutal. I wonder if I should get back to myself at this point. I think I grabbed the key card and like went out the door at the same time. I got really confused at the last second there. Okay, did not go out the door. All right, let's see. Oh, we got a superpower here. Rotten Brain. Press, oh, you can dash. You got another achievement, 50 points. Acquire the Rotten Brain upgrade. Oh, you can dash now. All right. Should I go up? Let's see, I guess we got to go up, right? To try to get out of here. I guess we're trying to escape this spaceship. I haven't been using the B button dash really at all. Oh, that thing's split apart now. A couple more. Oh, right at the last one. Of course that would happen. It seems right when you get about five, six in, more things start to join the fray. Wow, that was really close. There we go. Oh, I see. I used the dash and it screwed me. Oh. Yeah, that box that breaks apart, that's going to be the troublemaker, I think. Because it kind of hangs for just a little longer than you think. Uh, uh, one more, one more. There we go. One more. All right. Getting there. Oh. Now we have the alarm going off, which doesn't... Which only adds to the tension. Wow. Oof. Uh... I have to go up because if I go left, it's going to take me all the way back around. Uh. <laughs> it's just kind of funny that, like, oh, I just touched a box and I died a horrible death. Like, it's just a box. It's not like spikes or anything. Oh, we got a spinner now. What was that? That threw me way off. I mean, it kind of gets to a point there where there's uh, where there's really not any place to go.
Got it. I should probably scout the ship for more upgrade rooms if I'm lucky enough. I might even find a new arm. Got another achievement, 100 points, well geared. Visit at least 15 different rooms. Upgrade map settings. <laughs> Splat. Yikes, 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 yikes. Ah. What? Uh, uh. Well, we got laser beams now. We got laser beams. One more, one more, one more, come out. There we go. Definitely close to the landing site. I can already feel, got 110 smell of freedom. Reached the landing site. I can already feel the intoxication smell of freedom and motor oil. Thumbs up to the hangar. Shield chaos. Passively ignored a single hit. Got another 90 point achievement. Acquired the shield catalyst upgrade. And go up. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, that was so close. I made it. Got an achievement. 120 outer space. Escape from the ship. I escaped. And so we left with a new illusion of freedom. Hello there, my name is Matthias. I'm the founder of Rindo Studios, a lead programmer, Steel Defy. I would love to take a moment to personally thank you for giving one of our games a try. It really means a lot to me. You're welcome. Simply completing Steel Defy, Defy is quite a challenge for most people, so congratulations on getting here. I bet it was somewhat difficult, but you didn't. I honestly hope you had fun during that process. It might sound a little bit silly, but if you ever find yourself having trouble in life, you can be sure that I'll be somewhere in the world shouting for you to get back up and fight back as a humble way of showing my appreciation to you for your time here. My decisions and your decisions since the day you were born somehow ensured that our paths would cross at this point. I'm sure both of us faced good days and bad days along the way, but in the end, we have finally managed to meet each other and share this moment together, a tiny glimpse of what the universe holds for us, dear friend. Good luck on your future endeavors. I wish you a long and prosperous life. When have you ever seen a credit screen with a love letter from the developer, the programmer of this game? That's pretty crazy. Bonds or Kitten, give him a follow. Wesley doing a good job with the art. Yeah, right a lot of games. Yeah, it's not too many games where it's just you're completely on the defensive the entire time. So, pretty unique. I liked it. Definitely a good challenge, but still beatable, as I just did here, even though it was my first try. Did I get everything? No. Do I want to go back and get everything? Yes. Will I go back and get everything? Probably. Missed just one, two, three, four, five more. Collect at least 50 key cards in survival mode. Acquire the resonance watch upgrade. Acquire the unstable thruster upgrade and overcharge magnet upgrade. 
So yeah, if I would have kept playing, I would have got those other abilities, and then there was that endurance mode. Kind of want to let this go to the end of the credits. But yeah, you can check me out at mygamer.com, squallsnake.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. And if you like weird games that nobody else is covering, like this one right here, be sure to give me a follow and check out all my work at My Gamer because I'm covering the games that nobody else is covering. And like, I would rather play a game like this than like the latest Call of Duty. I like these small games. Cool how they give him a shout out with their ats. Pep. The biggest fans and supporters in the whole world. You're welcome. Groovy music. What more can you ask for? But there you go. Steel Defire. And there you go. I can play survival mode now. I mean, I like I even like this this menu screen. You know, I think that's pretty cool. You know, so just yeah, simple game, well designed, well made. The play control is excellent. Really responsive play control. If it wasn't that responsive, it wouldn't really be the same. So yeah, check this game out. I think it's only five bucks or something, seven bucks, maybe low cost. And then pretty easy achievements, too. So, again, mygamer.com, squallsec.com, and on Twitter, at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And until next time, thank you for watching, and game on.